Okay, so for our next installment of Tech Talk, which is a name I just made up, um, I wanted to show you one of the options that you might have for audio on your project. Now, what I do not want you to do on this project is simply copy and paste some YouTube videos that aren't yours. Not only is that incredibly lazy, but it's also illegal. Um, this is, we, we have to assume that what's on YouTube is copyrighted material. And if it's copyrighted material, fair use guidelines um, limit you to 30 seconds of use of that video. And so my strong recommendation is that you not try to simply download these videos. Um, there are a lot of sketchy third-party websites that will maybe put something bad on your computer. And um, again, even if you do, you know, get a clip out of it, I think it's pretty lazy and I'm not, I'm not really looking for that for this project. What you can do is perhaps bring some of the audio from some of these videos in. I would find, so for example, I found this archival footage of ac actual Albert Einstein speeches that he gave about his commitment to pacifism. He was a noted pacifist. He was very much against war and was outspoken uh, against, you know, the sort of policies that were bringing, that led to the world wars, uh, which he lived through. Uh, and so I found this about six minute video. And what I did to download the audio from this is I found a YouTube to MP3 converter uh, this website is called YTMP3, so if you do a Google search for that, you should be able to find it. It does seem very safe and very reliable, so I, I think I can endorse this one for, using, for doing what you need to do. And again, all I'm downloading here is an audio file. I'm downloading the MP3. And so I just put that URL into this. I click Convert and then I get an MP3 file. So um, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because now um, I have, so I'm gonna need to find that file. And so the file's gonna be in my downloads and the video is going to be right here. And so I'm going to go ahead and open this with QuickTime. If you just click on it, it's probably going to open up in iTunes, but you want it to open up in QuickTime Player. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Now, what I did is I listened to the audio and I actually really liked the first 30 seconds of that audio. And so I just went ahead and clipped the first 30 seconds from this video. And the way you're gonna do that is to go to File and Edit, and then click on Trim. And it's gonna give you the option to, so I'm gonna go ahead and play it until the point because the, the thing here is that it doesn't show you how much time there is, so you can't just drag it to the 30 second mark and call it good. Um, I'm gonna need to play it to figure out where I'm at, so. Is there any way out of this impasse created by man himself? All of us, and particularly those who are responsible for the attitude of the US and the USSR should realize that we may have vanquished an external enemy, but have been incapable of getting rid of the mentality created by war. Okay, so that's the end of the clip that I want to download. You can probably see on the screen a little red line, and I'm going to drag this to the end of that red line. Now I'm going to replay this just to make sure that I got everything that I needed an external enemy, but have been incapable of getting rid of the...
Is there any way out of the mentality created by war? So I'm almost there. And I believe that's where I need to be. So I'm going to go ahead and click trim. That gives me 32 seconds. So you may need to play with this to get the exact length. And so what you're going to have to do is to download this. And you're going to put it in the same M4A to MP3 converter that we used before. You may remember that Zanzar.com website. Then, just like before, you're going to need to take that MP3 file and put it into your presentation. So the way you do that is insert and audio. And then I've already, I've already prepared Einstein.mp3 here. And so now, I'm actually going to delete that one because I like this place better. Um, so now I'm going to move it down here and expand it a little bit so that we can see it. And now I'm going to click play. And Is there it any way and out of this impasse? And there we go. So, um, it is a bit of a roundabout process. I'm going to, I'm going to recommend that you, um, use just record video for this. Um, I think it's going to be a whole lot easier. Uh, I'm going to attach another video that talks about iMovie a bit. So that would be another option for you. So, uh, I hope this was helpful and have a great day. Bye.